Hi guys, welcome to 4 Paws Gaming. This is Phoenix here. Today we are going to do episode 3 in our breeding masterclass. Um, so if you've missed episode 1 about getting everything set up and ready to go, um, as far as what you need in your space, I've got a card popping up now that will take you to that video. And if you missed episode 2 about how to get your soul terminal set up with all the right settings, then I will post a card for that in just a second and that way you can go check that one out. They're both pretty short videos so it won't take you but just a second if you have any questions about how all that works. Check those out. In this video we're going to actually start the breeding process. So we've got our dinos ready. And these are going to be the guys that we're going to start with. So what we've done, and the way that this is going to work, is we've gone out and we've tamed a whole bunch of dinos. And we've actually tamed more than once right here in this terminal. What I've done is gone through and pulled out the highest level ones. So anything that's above um, about a 270 and up, I believe is what we have in here. 270, 280, 300, um, 525s, 280s, yeah, so uh, anything that we had found and tamed that was a level um, 270 and above I have in this terminal. Sometimes slightly lower dinos may get a, a really nice roll and have a stat that's worth something, um, but for the most part this is a pretty pretty safe collection here. So when I say stat, what I mean, we'll start there before we get too far into this, is um, for our our server on Limitless Gaming with the mods that we have, uh, what we're using here, the dinos are actually in Soul Balls from the Dino Storage V2 mod. And when you hover over the Soul Ball, provided that your tooltips, which is this little icon right here, provided that you have that turned on, when you hover over the dino, it'll give you some really, really important information about the dino. So here what we're looking at is all of the details. You got class, source, ID, we don't care about any of that stuff for this purpose right here. What we want is this very bottom section. Uh, health, stamina, oxygen, food. We want those numbers. So what we need to do is we need to go through here and find out which dino has the highest number in each of those stats. Because what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create one dino that has all of the highest values from each stat on the one dino. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is picking through these and determining which ones we actually need to breed together. So give me just a minute. I'm going to go through them and I'll show you what we got to work with. Alright, it looks like we have six dinos that we need to pull. Alright, so what we have here is this female. The stat that we want off of her is the 84 points in health. This female, what we want off of her is the 92 points in O2. This female, what we want off of her is the 82 points in movement. This female we want off of her is the 80 in stam and the 87 in melee. So she has two stat points that we want. And then the males, this one we want the 82 points in weight. And this male, we want the 80 points in stam and the 80 points in. Uh, food and that would be our seven stat areas okay so this is our set and what I like to do especially with this first group is we're going to toss them all out to begin with um, and we're going to name them based off of what stat we want from them just so we can kind of keep track without having to necessarily look at them real close every time so I'm just going to toss them all out and then we'll get them named up real quick
All right, so we should have five other names. We should have seven stats. So we've got, we'll go in order. We got HP. We got STEM. Next would be oxygen, which we have right here. And then food, which we have there. And then weight. And then melee is back over here. And then movement is right here. All right. So that's your breeding stock. That is going to get us the best possible stats that we can get based on the dinos that we have available. Um, and honestly, we're, we're probably going to go ahead and cut this right here just so that we can keep these videos short. Um, but unfortunately, that particular step just takes a little bit of having to go through and look through all the dinos that you have. With the awesome spyglass, you can either have the dinos out and hover over them so that you get that nice little pop-up there um, that gives you the numbers and work from that. Or you can do like what I did with them uh, balled up in a terminal or in a box or in your inventory or whatever is convenient for you. Um, I do suggest either writing the numbers down on a note card so that you can see them all laid out, figure out which one's which rather than going through and saying, okay, uh, let me look through each one of these and health is this and this and this and this and this. Okay, now which one was it that had the best number? It just gets to be a headache. I will include in the video description a link to a blank copy um, with all the formatting and everything set up on it for the one that I use. And I'm going to cut in right here a picture of it filled out with these, um, with all the dinos that were in the box there, um, all of their stats where it shows you which ones had the best stats. So you can see what it looks like. Um, you see there that it auto highlights um, the beginning part for pink or blue based on whether you put in M or F for the gender. Uh, it automatically highlights in green what the highest stat is so that you know immediately which dino it is. Um, you can track other things for certain breeds. I'll track lineage depending on what I'm doing. So you've got that area there to the right. Um, you can track whether they're tamed dinos or bred dinos. Um, if you type in once you're finished with them, you type in retired, it'll automatically mark out the dyno for you. So it's just got some nice little formatting features set up. You're welcome to grab the link in the description to use that. Uh, you can use a note card, um, go through and try to remember it, whatever whatever works best for you. You know you better than I know you. Um, it's just some suggestions and ideas there. So we'll cut this here with that on how to go through and, and get all that organized and figure out where you're going to start. And uh, this is going to be our baseline breeders. We'll work with them in the next video. Catch you guys later. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and then hit that bell notification icon so that you get notified when we upload the next video in this series or in our other series so that you don't miss out on our breeding masterclass. This was episode three. I'll catch y'all in episode four. Later.